The introduction of new mining techniques, high-powered, rapidly advancing continuous miners, roof bolting and multi-entry systems has created a problem for ventilation engineers within British mining. How to deal with the daily need to adjust and redirect the mine ventilation quickly, efficiently and in an economical manner. The Hollywell stopping resolves these problems. It's an inexpensive, portable and reusable system with a minimum of assembly time, saving valuable man hours. Produced by Hollywell Engineering, the Hollywell stopping has for many years been used extensively in countries such as Australia and South Africa. A number of British coal mines have now realized the potential of the Hollywell system and it's proving very successful. The ventilation staff determine the area where a stopping should be installed. But generally, the installation team have the discretion to select the most suitable location. The ideal site will have two relatively straight side walls. The roof area should also be checked, making sure that when the telescopic pans are extended, they will not encroach onto roof straps or bolts. Firstly, the roof and side walls should be dressed to remove any loose ground. Any benches between the side walls and floor will need picking out. Finally, all loose debris on the floor within the path of the stopping must be cleared to allow a solid installation. The Hollywell stopping is delivered as a flat pack for ease of transportation. Each pack will consist of sufficient pans and ancillary equipment for one complete stopping. The ancillary equipment, with the exception of the rib angles, can be found in a specially marked set of two pans. First, the rib angles must be located across the width of the roadway. Three small locating pockets must be picked out down each sidewall, making sure that they are plumb and in line across the width of the roadway. It's important that the center pockets are approximately at the center of the height of the roadway. This makes sure that when the rib angle is installed, it passes through the overlap of the telescopic panels. Each rib angle, which is made up of two sections, can now be located into the pockets. Where the angles overlap, tape provided in the materials pack is used to hold them in position. When all three rib angles are in position and taped up, the pans can be assembled. To give temporary stability to the rib angles, a center pan can be erected. A rock wool seal is provided for each pan. Fitted into the end of the pan, it provides a seal between the roof and top of the panel. The pans should always be installed where possible with the smooth surface of the pan facing the pressure side of the ventilation system. The pan is extended manually to the roof. The foot of the hydraulic jack is located onto the base of the pan. The head of the jack is offered up to the top of the pan and is held in place using a spring-loaded peg. Any minor adjustment required to the height of the jack can be easily made. If the jack has been transported on its side, it may need priming. Release the valve at the base of the jack pull the piston out fully, then return it to the closed position. Close the valve. The jack is now ready for use. The pan is now jacked up until the rock wool seal is crushed against the roof. With the pressure maintained, twist clips provided in the materials pack are used to secure the pan to the rib angles. The clip passes over the rib angles and hooks into the lip of the pan. Then, using the tool provided, twist the wire clip pulling towards you as you twist. No more than two or three turns are required. The interference of the clips used on the center rib angle now maintains the roof-to-floor pressure exerted by the hydraulic jack. With all six clips fitted, the jack can be removed. The next stage is to fit one of the rib side pans. 
it should be pushed up as tight as possible against the side wall and erected using the same method as the center pan. It's important to ensure that the jack base does not sit on top of any debris, as this will affect the pressure exerted on the pan between the roof and floor. Continue to install pans, working either from the center to the sidewall panel, or alternatively work from the sidewall to the center panel. All pans should be fitted, alternating the inner and outer sections between the roof and floor. This reduces the gap between each pan. Eventually, you will arrive at a gap less than one pan width. This is closed using a standard pan and three of the overlap clips provided. Fit the rock wall seal and manually push the pan tight to the roof and stopping wall, ensuring the gap is completely covered. Insert one of the overlap clamps into the pan, through the gap adjacent to one of the rib angles. Insert a twist clip into the holes in the clamp and twist as you would a standard clip. Repeat the procedure on the two other rib angles, pulling the overlap pan tight against the faces of the two adjoining pans. The overlap pan is the only pan where the hydraulic jack is not used. One or more overlap pans can be installed as required. The opposite rib side pan is now fitted and then working towards the center, the pan installation is completed. Now the gaps between each pan are sealed using the extra wide adhesive tape provided. The side walls are then sealed using hard stop. However, if there are any extra deep side wall holes, spades are provided in the materials pack to give support for the hard stop. They're fitted by pushing the spade blade into the hole area and clipping the angles onto the back of the stopping pans. Each pan is designed to yield independently under strata movement. The overlap pans also allow for any horizontal strata movement. Occasionally, there may be no alternative but to install the stopping in an area where, without extra mining taking place, the side walls are at an angle to the vertical. In this instance, erect the rib side pan tight up against the side wall. Assemble the next pan in a vertical position, creating a wedge shape between the two pans. Then, using the overlap system described earlier, cover the wedge and clip the overlap pan tight into position. Continue building the stopping as normal. Standard man doors can be easily installed either in an existing stopping or at the time of installation. The doors are supplied complete with special length pans, angles and clips. Material doors and machine doors can also be installed in this type of stopping. Not only is the Hollywell stopping inexpensive and portable with a minimum of assembly time, it's also 80% reusable. So, should the mine ventilation need altering quickly, or when a district becomes exhausted, the ideal underground stopping is always within easy access. As the British coal industry strives for greater efficiency, more collieries are achieving their goals with the help of Hollywell stoppings.